and welcome to my channel. Say hi to a happy day. In this channel, I would like to share tales and stories I personally picked and are my kids' favorite book stories. Let's enjoy listening while I read to you Peppa Princess. It is bedtime for Peppa and George. Mommy Pig tucks them in and turns out the light. Good night, little piggies, she whispers. Downstairs, Granny and Grandpa Pig arrive to have dinner with Mommy and Daddy Pig. They all sit down to eat, but suddenly they hear noises coming from upstairs. Is that Peppa and George? Ask Grandpa Pig. Looks like the little piggies aren't sleeping at all. Mummy Pig goes upstairs to check on Peppa and George. They are wide awake. Peppa, George, quickly now hop into bed, says Mummy Pig. You're making lots of noise and it's too late for you to be up. We aren't sleepy yet, says Peppa. Will you tell us a story? Asked Peppa. We promise to go to sleep after a story. All right, says Mommy Pig. Once upon a time, there was a princess. Peppa jumps in. Oh yes, says Mommy Pig. Once upon a time, there was a courageous princess named Peppa. She lives in a castle with Sir George, the brave knight. And the princess and the knight had a cook who made the most delicious food ever, adds Peppa. Of course, says Mommy Pig. She made cupcakes and cookies. And a jelly tower, says Peppa. That was the princess's favorite food, cherry jelly tower. The princess and the knight invited their friend Pedro Pony and all ate the yummy desserts. Yes, says Mummy Pig. And afterward, everyone was so full, they fell right asleep. The end. Then they woke up, cries Peppa, and they invited a wizard to the castle. A wizard? asked Mommy Pig. Yes, says Peppa, and he did a big magic show. But then all of a sudden, a big green dragon came to the castle. Peppa continues. Grrr, laughs George. Oh no, says Mommy Pig. How scary. The dragon wasn't scary, says Peppa. He was just very hungry. So the king came and ordered the cook to make a picnic, says Peppa. He did? Mommy Pig asked for with the yawn. Yes, says Peppa. The cook, the wizard, the princess, the knight, the king, Pedro Pony, and the dragon sat down to eat a big feast. And then they went to sleep, murmurs Mummy Pig as her head droops to one side. No, says Peppa. Then they had a party. The princess arrived to the party in a beautiful carriage, says Peppa.
she came with her friend Susie Sheep. Sir George pulled the carriage with his horse. All of their friends came to the castle to dance. There was Rebecca Rabbit and Pedro Pony and Danny Dog. Downstairs, Daddy Pig, Granny Pig, and Grandpa Pig are wondering what is taking Mummy Pig so long. Maybe we should see what's going on upstairs, says Daddy Pig. I think I hear snoring, says Granny Pig. Mummy Pig must have finally gotten Peppa and George to fall asleep. But Peppa and George are not snoring. Mummy Pig is. It looks like Princess Peppa is the best at telling bedtime stories, says Daddy Pig. The end. I hope you enjoy listening to the story, Peppa Princess. Please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to listen to more of our favorite book stories. See you soon!